Ladies and gentlemen, let's read gaming to the video. Let us discuss the Tegra K1 processor, which NVIDIA have just unveiled. It is touted to be significantly more powerful than the Xbox 360 and PS3. If you would like slides, links to the full presentation, and much more, you can check out the article. Meanwhile, hopefully you guys will be able to understand me. I'm getting absolutely ravaged with a cold today, so yeah. Anyway, um... NVIDIA have just unveiled the Tegra K1. K, by the way, stands for Kepler, which means, of course, it's based on the Kepler-based CUDA cores. In case you're not too familiar with what that means, it's basically their latest desktop GPUs, as of now, anyway. Um, for example, the GTX 780. Anyway, there are 192 of these CUDA cores which comprise the Tegra K1. So what does that mean? Well, firstly... They are DirectX 11 and OpenGL compliant. They're also completely programmable, as you would expect for the Kepler-based architecture. Jensen Huang, who is the CEO and co-founder of NVIDIA, said, and I quote, We've brought mobile computing to the same level as desktop computing. We've brought mobile computing to the same level as supercomputing, and we've brought the heart of the G-Force and the soul of Tesla to the Tegra family. Meanwhile, Epic Games, uh, the co-founder, uh, sorry, the founder of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, has stated that they are able to indeed run um, the Unreal Engine 4 on the Tegra. So to give you an idea of just how powerful the Tegra is, and once again, there's slides in the article, you're looking at a GPU horsepower, in other words, how much G-flops it can perform, of 365, which is 240 for the Xbox 360, 365 for the Tegra. So you're basically looking at one and a half times-ish more powerful. Um, the CPU is actually significantly faster as well. Uh, they've got the Xbox 360s at 360, uh, sorry, 3,600, with the Tegra's hitting 5600. I'm not going to read out the PS3's because that's unfair because they're not actually using the SPU's. Now the most important part of this isn't the power necessarily, it's actually the fact that all of this is only requiring 5 watts of power which is, well, compared to the Xbox 360 using 100 watts, absolutely ludicrous. The CPU's offered are both 32 and 64 bit with a 64-bit CPU running uh, quad-core at 2.5 gigahertz. Now, to put this into a bit more perspective, the Xbox One puts out 1.32 T-flops. So we're actually getting well close, considering just how long the Xbox, three, six, uh, Xbox One has been out. We're actually getting fairly close to that with the Tegra uh, K1. Now, of course, all of this pales in comparison to a very high-end GPU for a PC. I mean, for example, some of those can hit five, maybe even six T-flops now of computing power, and even the mid-range ones are between two to three. But, when you consider that mobile games typically are running at far lower resolutions due to the screen, you know, sometimes literally half the resolution, that's certainly going to go a long way to pushing um, more detail for effectively, because you're uh, processing less pixels. Obviously there are still going to be issues, they have not exactly gone super into depth about battery life and that type of thing, um, and as far as I'm understanding it, I've checked a couple of uh, places, but they've not gone into clock speeds and various other bits and bobs, so obviously they're still fine-tuning things, but this isn't to say that mobile gaming, we're suddenly going to have graphics that are astounding, there's still going to be issues. But we're getting closer. Um, I, for one, typically just don't enjoy mobile gaming that much. I'll just be completely honest. For me, you know, I've got to have a large screen. I've got to be playing with super high quality graphics and just, just kind of relaxing in the leather chair, just relaxing and just enjoying that large experience. So I don't usually game much on mobile. I mean, I do occasionally on long trips, but that's about it. But just the fact that we're getting this level of performance bodes extremely well for the future, and I think that it's going to be indicative of just showing you what we're looking um, forward to in the very not-too-distant future. Anyway, 
<clears throat> I'm going to have to go, guys, because my I've got a lot more to say on this, but unfortunately my voice is turning to shit because I'm, uh, well, yeah, not that well. But hopefully I'm going to drink some ginger tea and so on, and I'll be back nor uh, to normal in the next day or two. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great new year, and bye for now.